Shalom, Shalom, first and foremost, we would like to give all praises to Yahweh, Basham Yahushai, Basham Rakhakodash, and I'm double honest to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and peace and blessings to the elect. And this here is Amma One from the Great Millstone camp in Trinidad, and I'm coming back to do another lesson. Hopefully, you know, it edifying through the Holy Spirit. All right. And I was just scrolling through YouTube, and <laughs> this, this is what I saw, you know. Um, this demon vocab Malone have a um, a premiere, all right, for the fifth of of June, um, which will be like maybe Friday at nine p.m. Irrefutable, Jesus did not speak Lasho and Kodash Hebrew. Um, and he has up there Layasha one best picture, right? You know to to make mockery. And <laughs> you is what what why are they say right? With all that is going on, all right. With all that is going on in the world right now. Not just not just globe, not just in America in the world. All right, these are apologists. Our apologists is a defender of the gospel. All right, Our apologists. All right, is 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 a defender. So we should be defending the gospel, but also also one of the roles of an apologist is to watch, because how Shai said, all right, watch as well as pray. You not only watch, all right, you don't talk about nothing other than what the men of the Lord are right doing. That is all you just speak about. That is all you speak about. So that clearly shows is it that you paid off. <coughs> Salah. Is it that you paid off? <coughs> or you just want nothing better to do with your life, brother? But I go in with the first one, I believe you paid off. All right, you I need some scriptures. Eh? Maybe that scripture. Here's the book of First Corinthians, chapter fourteen, verse verse one. It says, "Fall after charity and desire spiritual gifts, but rather that ye may what prophesy." All right, that is what it is about prophecy, prophesy. Okay. And hey, yes, this is we believe. Alright? Because that is why you come down to at the end of the day. You could come with whatever proof. Vocab. Whatever. All all your Christians could come with whatever. And it ain't gonna stop us. And it it, it like it now appear into all your that it didn't stop in you. Because we have faith. Alright? We are fair, this is the book of Romans, the Romans. Romans, the 8th chapter, the 20th, I'll read from 23. It says, I'll read from 24. It says, for we are saved by hope. All right? This is our salvation through hope. You could come with whatever relic you dig up from 6,000 years ago and, okay. All right, fine. <laughs> All right. Deuteronomy 28 chapter has been proven to us. Okay. All right, we believe in that. We believe Deuteronomy chapter 28. We believe, all right, that the Heavenly Father's Son, according to the scriptures, was a so called black man. And we believe that he spake Lasho and Kodashi. We believe that. All right. We believe that. If you don't believe that, that is your business. We believe that. And you could come and try and jump high and low and lose sleep and cry and beg Jesus how much you want, folk. Oh you cannot stop this. This ain't going to be stopped because of your all right, insecurities in your doctrine. Or how much money Esau pay you 
to, 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 to come up against the Hebrew Israelites. They ain't going to stop us. What you're seeing happening is prophecy. All right? Nobody can stop prophecy. Go back to Moses' time. Let me, let me look at Moses' time, for example. Moses' time was prophecy. All right? Hence, Pharaoh coming and trying to kill out all the firstborn of Egypt. And what happened in the prophecy? Moses' mother put him in a basket and sent him down a stream. And Pharaoh's daughter take up Moses and my Moses as she own child. The same Moses come and lead out the children of Israel out of captivity under Pharaoh. Because it was prophesied to Abraham 400 years ago that that would have, um, it was prophesied to Abraham that his seed would have served slavery 400 years. Alright? 400 years, Abraham's seed would have been serving the slavery. Okay? And, 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 and that when he, when he tried to serve, serve slavery, all right, he will take them out of slavery, and he will raise up Moses for that for that um, duty. Okay. So all the firstborn Pharaoh tried to kill out. He still wasn't successful because prophecy had to happen. It was prophesied with Noah and the ark. All right, that the Lord will 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 destroy this earth by fire. Will destroy. Um, so like will destroy the place by water and, and and didn't that come to pass it was already prophesied you cannot stop it and just like this we're seeing here it was prophesied to the son of the heavenly father that all things all principalities all powers thrones and dominions will bow down and worship him and the and the israelites because the israelites beginning with the elect will be joint heirs with the Ahawashai Amashiach and that is what you see when you see these men on the street corners prophesying that is what actually taking place because we are the true Hebrew Israelites we are them we the ones who are looked down upon we are the true Hebrews all right Let me continue to read. It says, For we are saved by hope. Right. Yeah, so it says, <clears throat> For we are saved by hope. But hope that is seen is not hope. So, yeah, um, this is the thing with vocab. You will just see. All right. <laughs> see um, the Heavenly Father's Son. We can't, we can't go back in, in time and see him speaking. Lasho and Kodash. We believe that the language and that is just what it is. And uh, scriptures, alright, prove it. The, the, the scriptures say he came and spake unto Paul. Paul says so in a Hebrew tongue. Alright. This dog is popping and making one set of noise. Hey. Yeah, so. Yeah, the scripture says, The Lord came and spake unto the Apostle Paul in a Hebrew, in a Hebrew tongue. Alright, and it's just like that. Um, just like that. Um, picture that he put Elijah by Elijah Shawanda's mouth, alright, um, no, by, by the picture where he stick on Sergio Borja face, he put the image, uh, image that we just use for Yahweh Chai on Sergio Borja's face, and say Elijah, say Elijah Shawanda, say, sounds good. Um, 
that is a proof right there that shows you are speaking Lasho and Kodash because Allah, 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 Yah is, is my God and Allah, Yah is Yahweh is my God. All right, Yahweh, my power. All right, with the Y A H. It's just like we just say Ak Yah. All right, Ak. When you put Yah as the suffix, Yah as the prefix. All right, means he. Yah as the suffix means my. All right, you can look it up on the net. Prefixes and suffixes in the Hebrew. All right, matter of fact, you know what? Let me look it up. Prefixes and suffixes in Hebrew. In Hebrew. All right. Um, No, I'll find it and I'll come back. Right. So, if you could see, all right, if you could see, this is the Yah in the Assyrian script, right? The second one is, a, is, is He, all right? That is, the, that is the prefix, all right? Is He. And when you look at here, the Yah as a suffix, is what me or my all right so when you when you lord when you lord right so when the lord uh, said Elijah or elijah eli eli he said, Eli, Eli, all right, why hast thou what forsaken me, all right, as we said, and folk up, all right, <laughs> folk up Malone. Don't understand scriptures. All right, Matthew twenty-seven forty-six about the, and about the ninth hour, Yahush, I cried with a loud voice, saying, "Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani?" All right, and when you look up the word Eli, there. this is in the Greek. All right, this is in the Greek is. Um, Eli, Eli, the Hebrew form as Elio, Elio, etc. Bum, bum, bum. My God, my God. All right, the scene, the scene, Allah here, Allah, all right, seen Allah there. When you go into the Hebrew, um, I yell, all right, but what Yahweh said was, My God, was right, right, because the scripture say, the scripture say, which is interpreted. The, um, Eli, Eli, the master back tonight. That is to say, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? 
all right so now l all right as it is translated l is is good all right allah yeah is my we know we know we know see that in in here all right yeah syrian script you would have said yeah which is look at right here this is why they got confused right this is why it says going to say some of them that stood there when they heard that said this man called it for elias which is elijah all right elias um elias elijah my god is yahweh right and when you look up his name you see in the ah uh, the la the ya and the ha which is ya y a h short for yahweh and allah yahweh god yahweh god but the most size yahweh yahweh is my god all right roughly translated so this is why when they heard him all right when they heard him say allah yeah yeah why a they say why are you calling on elijah because it songs the same it songs the same but right there showing you the man speak he pale your hebrew um he, he said it in the suffix form all right my my god okay the blue letter didn't really have it but that is where it was he said my god my god my power my power why has thou what forsaken me but the man like vocab all right you will explain something like that to him and he would not hearken because he is just a demon <laughs> But we we hope we are hoping we just but if we hope for that romans 8 25 but if we hope for that we see not then do we with patience wait for it all right we do all right we never saw your shy but we could we could go in the script we never saw so yeah our shy with the physical eyes but we could go in the scriptures and prove certain things okay you could go in the scriptures and prove certain things. But let me say you come with some kind of as you say irrefutable proof, which there is no irrefutable proof against our faith. Our faith is on sol solid foundation. What we saying is true according to the scriptures. But let me say you come with so called that. Do we feel like going and detail our faith in, in the Lord? This is bigger than your doctrine vocab and the way I to understand. This thing bigger than you. Like two chains on them sing. <laughs> and um Migos. Yeah. This is bigger than you vocab, it's bigger than you. This is the book of Romans again. Chapter three and three. And it says, For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief Make the faith of the Most High without effect. God forbid, yea, let the Most High be true, but every man a liar. As it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings, mightest overcome when thou art judged. Alright. Okay, bringing us up into judgment, and we will always overcome. Okay. We will always overcome because this is our book. All right, this is not your book. This is this book belongs unto the Hebrews. Okay, so the Hebrews will always have this book. All right, this is um book of Isaiah 59 and 21. It says, As for me, when we read from 20, and the Redeemer shall come to Zion, 
and unto them that turned from transgression in Jacob, said the Lord. As for me, my covenant, this is my covenant with them, said the Lord. My spirit that is upon thee, and my words which I have put in thy mouth, shall not depart of thy mouth, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, nor out of the mouth of thy seed's seed, saith Yahweh Basham Yahushai, from henceforth and forever. Alright? <laughs> this word is this word will always be with us wherever we go okay so you cannot you cannot take it out of, uh, out of us all right um this is the book isaiah 34 verse 16 it says seek ye out of the book of the lord and read no one of these shall fail none shall want her mate for my mouth it had commanded and, my, and his spirit it had guarded them and he and he had cast the lot and he had cast the lot for them and his hand had divided it unto them by line they shall possess it forever all right remember I'm talking about the book of the lord from generation to generation shall they dwell therein we cannot lose the book all right this is our book okay beginning with the elect this is their book we cannot lose it from generation to generation through every reincarnation we will always come back looking for this book or some righteousness pertaining to it because it's our book this thing's spiritual but you vocab all right you looking for some carnal gain okay at the end of the day is we faith we believe all right we believe therefore we speak okay so I just wanted to do a little quick lesson on that to show this demon vocab alone at it again. Alright. You know, with that, I give all praise to Awabasham, Yahushai, Basham, Akakurash. Hopefully, you've been edified, Shalom.